Okay, in this lesson, we want to teach you how to capture a scrolling window here. For example, we have a long website, like our website is not very long, but it's not in one page. You have to uh, scrolling down to see all of the website. <clears throat> First, open your, the, the website that you want to capture, website, word, anything that you have to scroll down to see all of them. Then go into the shaded capture and uh, scrolling capture. First, select the window that you want here, and then this window will be open to set the setting of the scrolling. In here, you can select a window uh, or control S go at the, that you want. You can select again. <clears throat> Because of the tick this uh, option, start selecting capture region before opening the before opening the window. You have to select your window. If you untick, this will this window will be open and you can select the window here if you want. Start scrolling capture immediately after capture. It means you hit this button that we don't want. We want to set the setting. The important setting is scroll up. For example, you are you are in the bottom of the page. It's automatically going up and then scrolling from top to bottom. This is important if you want to scrolling whole window. Sometimes you want to scrolling from the middle of the window to the bottom. If you want this situation, go in here and disable scrolling to <coughs> up. Important. It is a start delay. I think it's a millisecond. These are a scrolling method set it to automatically. We don't want to change anything. And the important option is here maximum scrolling count. Uh, which counts your scrolling? Uh, see that? One, two, three. It's mean that. Sometimes the window is very long and it's uh, hard to scrolling all of them or you want to limit that you can set this number you can set this number at a higher number to scrolling all your window and you take a scrolling end these are after capturing the software this option not important Let's do it automatically tick all of them and uh, I think tick this because I want to save depending after setting. After scrolling, you can save it. We have two tab here in the output. In this case, untick that, start scrolling, automatically sc scroll and finish. Output uh, tab is open and this is our tab. Because of I, uh, it is a bit a problem because I hit my mouse here. Pay attention to remove your mouse from your screen and do it again. Okay, going up, it's not important. Do it again. Select the window, hit okay, and start capturing. Okay, I think in this way now it's right. So pay attention to your mouse. This is my website has an animation and I accidentally um, hover mouse over this icon and my capture will be uh, a problem. Okay. That's nice. Going to the output window. These are the automatic setting of the combining or trimming edge of the software uh, as you see this image uh, this long image can uh, include three image separate three image that combine the software combine them to one long image uh, these are good for us don't touch them and just upload and save and finish it's upload for us. If you tick that, it's automatically up, uh, save for us. That you can tick this. Or you can capture again. 
So be careful about your mouse in your website. Remove your mouse from your screen area and then hit capture. And this is output. Close these windows. Close this. Go in here and you can access your uh, page here. It's long page that will be capture. This is a scrolling capture. That is very useful for us. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.